I don't think you guys are ready. I'm I'm not ready. I, I know you guys are not ready for this right now. I know you see what's on your screen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Showdown's already updated. If you haven't checked it out yet, go and check it out right now. If you um, if you click here right here, you have uh, Gen 7 Anything Goes Beta. So if you've been spoiled already, go ahead. By the way, spoiler alert, uh, you're going to see a lot of Pokemon you don't know yet if you haven't checked out the leaks or anything like that beforehand. So please, uh, please stray away from this video if you do not want to be spoiled at all. Uh, if you don't care, then let's get right into the very first live of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Woo! All right, here we go. So we have a uh, Choice Scarf Feromosa paired with Rain. Uh, I really like the way this team works. Uh, my opponent has a Solgaleo, which is pretty easily trapped by Doug Trio. Uh, so Solandit's Evolution is also trapped. Uh, so a couple of things, really nice, really nice. Let's uh, lead off with Feromosa here because it has the best lead matchup. It outspeeds the Oxus. Uh, I actually forgot to change something. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, we got to change Rapid Spin for Lunge because uh, this thing likes staying in at some point in the game. So we're going to go for U-turn right here. We are faster than Deoxys Speed because of the Scarf. It actually lives that. Wow. Uh, and we're going to go directly into, uh, I think, into Scizor. Should be fine. He's probably going to get up Hazards, which is okay. I'm glad we have Rapid Spin this game, actually. Because what I can do is uh, just fire off a Bullet Punch right here. Not going to allow him to uh, do anything else. Get up any other Hazards. We're going to keep it there. As Salazzle comes in, the Poison Fire type. Do not want to stay in on this. Uh, I'm going hard into Tornadus. We are Assault Vest, of course. And we can take this on pretty well. I think it's a Special Attacker. I'm pretty well, uh, pretty sure. Salazzle. Flamethrower does 50%. That's definitely Specs. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Uh, we do not have U-Turn, so we're just going to take advantage of the fact that we are uh, Regenerator and switch out directly into Pelipper. We do not care. There's no way that Flamethrower did that much if it's not Specs. He's actually going to switch out into Lando right there. Very nice play. Uh, if he has Stone Edge, that is. We are mixed defensive, so we should be able to take any hit. And I think just going for Scald right here is fine. He does go for the Stone Edge and misses, unfortunately. And Scald is almost going to be able to take out Lando. The burn, of course. Uh, not going to be able to finish him off because of the burn nerf. Uh, but we will be able to go for Roost right here on his Stone Edge. It's only going to do 30% this time. Going to get this Roost off. And now our Pelipper is back online. We're going to Roost again as he goes for a knockoff to get rid of the Damp Rock. Very nice play. All right. So we got rid of two Mons already. Not bad. Looking good. Looking good. Um, Kingdra's looking like a threat, man. <laughs> a huge threat. Especially if he's not Scarf Feromosa. Uh, Salazzle actually decides to come in, probably just a Sludge Bomb. Uh, I'm gonna go for a U-turn to see what he does. We, like I said, we are mixed defensive, so he does go for the Sludge Wave. We still have our Rain online thanks to the, uh, thanks to being at 30, uh, 35%. And I think what I'm gonna do is, do I want to just trap this and get rid of it? Or, actually, Scizor's a better play because we know he's Specs, right? So we can go for the, uh, the U-turn right here. Uh, force him out. He's going to go into Como, which will be able to take this no problem. And I think uh, Tornadus is fine. We do have 100% accurate Hurricanes right now. And, uh, I mean, he does have a Solgaleo, but we also have Superpower for that. I packed Heat Wave on this because I did want fire coverage for some stuff. Especially uh, Celestial, uh, Celestila uh, is a big, big problem. So, he's going to go on into Solgaleo. That's fine. It's going to take it pretty well, of course. And uh, I really want a superpower right here. I don't really lose anything because I get to go into Doug Trio after and knock this thing out anyway. So I think, um, do I want to keep this actually? Strictly for Como. Uh, no, let's go for superpower. That's fine. Uh, only does 20% uh, because it is neutral, of course. It's going to go for Sunsteel Strike and knock us out. But now we can go into Doug Trio and go for the EQ. Knock this thing out easily. I think 100 base attack should be able to do it now. Uh, from 60%. Yes, it is awesome. Ductrio, before the boost, before the uh, the buff to Ductrio, that definitely would not have taken him out. There's no way. But uh, we're looking okay. Uh, Feramoso could be a threat here. He's actually going to go into Como, though. That's pretty good for us because now I get to get up my rocks. And uh, if he wants to knock us out, that's cool. He does have Bulletproof. Going to have to watch out for that. He does uh, ignore Bullet Punch. He's going to go for Dragon Dance, actually. And we're going to go for uh, an EQ right here. Now, obviously, this thing is a little bit of a problem. Um, actually, even if it gets up two Dragon Dances, it's still not faster than Pheromos. <laughs> That's hilarious. We do 45% there, and uh, he's forced to attack here, so what I'm actually going to do is get up my Rain again. 
And then we're going to go into Feral, knock this thing out, and uh, then we should be good to go. He's going to go for the Outrage. Um, I mean, I could set up with Scizor, seeing as he's Life Orb. We could just go for Roost repeatedly until he knocks himself out. And uh, But he still has Salazzle, that's the only thing. Do I just go into Feramosa and go for the high jump kick is the question. Because he still has his own Pharaoh left. Um, Doug Trio knocks out Salazzle. We're faster, I believe. Because it's uh, Heliolisk-ish. Um, is this thing faster than Kingdra? It is if it's max speed. Uh, I'm going to go into Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh basically cleans up at this point. Uh, if we can connect all these high jump kicks, which we missed the first one, unfortunately. Uh, so we are going to die right there, but it's fine. He's confused now. Uh, so we can easily go out into Scizor. And I think just go for a... Does this thing get any fire coverage? I don't think it does. Uh, we're just going to go for a U-turn as he uh, gets Sky Uppercut. Okay. All right, well, we are able to knock him out there with the U-turn. Uh, we do die to rocks now, but uh, uh, Rain is up for a couple more turns. So we're going to go into Kingdra. And Kingdra should be able to knock out the remaining two. Fermosa has crap defenses and salazzle is a fire type of course so this should be able to finish the game right here uh unless of course he's scar pharaoh just like i am uh in which case we may have just lost the game because of that sky uppercut but pharaoh is gonna come in uh, i really hope he's not scarf we're gonna go for scald right here it's our best play as that is easily gonna be able to take out pharaoh in the rain and uh salazzle is going straight down to this and even if by some miracle he were to live the trio can just come in and revenge this after, so it's not a big deal. See, he, he hits 366, if you guys see that at the top. Uh, you should, yeah. So, Salazzle is going to go straight down. There we go, and we hit, uh, what are we, 1158? Not too bad for the beginning of the ladder. Let's, uh, let's get another game. I got a lot of teams planned for this meta, man. I got a lot of teams planned. Okay, my opponent has a, uh, what looks to be a Box Legendaries plus uh, UBs plus Salazzle team, so very interesting. Uh, this thing is a huge threat right here. Uh, I forget its name. It's um, Zerkatry. Zerkatry is a huge, huge threat. Uh, Necrozma I can deal with. Um, see, Celesteela right here, I wouldn't have a, an answer to that outside of Kingdra, of course, if I didn't have Heat Wave on, uh, on Tornadus. So it's a good thing we have that. Let's uh, let's lead off with Torn against uh, Zerkatry. Not the best lead. Uh, we are faster, however, so I could just go for the knockoff in theory. I doubt he's going to want to allow Doug Trio in for free. Uh, if he does, that's, I guess, uh, we get to trap it and we knock it out. So I'm going to go for the knockoff. We're going to get rid of whatever item it's holding. It is a focus sash. He's going to go for energy ball predicting the uh, the Doug Trio right there, which is very nice. Uh, we're going to go into it here this time as uh, he's going to go for a discharge. So we trap his Zerkatry, and this is going to be a dead mon, and he just forfeits. So very nicely played right there. He saw the Doug Trio. I had to play off of that, you know, and it uh, got us the win. So, that's not going to work all the time, and I doubt that thing's even going to stay in uh, in OU. Actually, it's not that big of a threat. It's got a huge special attack, but it's pretty much a glass cannon, and it's really slow. So, again, we got a team of uh, box legendary... Uh, box le no, I can't speak. Box legendaries plus uh, UBs plus Tapu Lele. So, uh, I really like um, Feramosa here, especially with Lunge. Uh, Lunge is looking really good. If we can get rid of Soul Galio, we should be able to sweep with that. Um... And getting rid of Sol Solgaleo is just so easy. Like, as soon as he gets a kill, Dugtrio comes in, gone. Instantly. It's so good. Uh, we're going to lead off with Pelipper here. I want to get up Rain uh, as soon as possible. He leads off with Feramosa. Pelipper is actually a pretty good answer to this because it resists uh, its two stabs. And uh, Hurricane blows it back. So I'm actually just going to U-turn, expecting him to U-turn as well. He has Life Orb. That's good. That's good to know. That's great to know, actually. Our Feramosa always at speeds. Going to get this U-turn off on Solgaleo. We're going to trap it with Dugtrio. And uh, we're going to get rid of it right here, right now, guys. We are Focus Sash, of course. So uh, nothing he can go for can knock us out. Uh, unless he has something that gives us, uh, like, a poison or, or a burn as a result of, uh, of attacking us. But Sunsteel Strike is going to lower us down to our Sash. He has Life Orb as well. And uh, I actually, since this thing is so low, uh, I was planning to sweep in Feramosa's um, lunge. So I'm just going to get up rocks, actually, because rocks help me immensely this game, uh, especially against Lunala. We got we to gotta get them up as soon as possible. So he does have the potential to have rapid spin on his Feramosa, but he can't really bring it in right now. I'm going to go into uh, my own Pharaoh here, and we're going to go for the U-turn. We're going to be able to knock out Solgaleo and uh, pretty much heavily damage anything else that comes in. Now, the big problem on my opponent's team right now is Lunala. 
That thing is just super bulky. It's very hard to deal with. Uh, I think I like Tornadus here the best uh, because it does outspeed the majority of my opponent's team. Um, kind of like reeling back at the fact that I just lost Dugtrio because I just noticed he has a Zerka tree as well. He's going to go into Feromosa actually, uh, which doesn't knock me out with anything, I don't think. So I'm just going to go for a Hurricane as he goes for a Rapid Spin to get rid of the rocks, which is a very good play. We do hit this Hurricane all the time, so his Pharaoh is gone. So now we just need to get in uh, our own Pharaoh and start going for lunge on everything. And you guys are going to see how powerful this thing is. Uh, like, I'm sure it's going to make thumbnail. There's there's no doubt about it. As soon as I get a... Uh, as soon as I get something lowered to the point where Pharaoh can knock it out with a lunge, it's pretty much game over. He is Scarfed Zerka Tree, which is great to know. Um, not that I can do much about it, because his special attack just went up. So he's very, very threatening. Um, but what I can do is go into my own Scarfer, being Feromosa. We're going to go for a U-turn. And then I think we're going to sack off, um, Scizor right here. Or Pelipper, really depends. Uh, I think Scizor is the most expendable. This thing is steel and grass, but it's very frail, but not on the physical side. Hold up. I think I need Kingdra this game. Yeah, we can sack Scizor here. Because my opponent is going to go for another uh, Thunderbolt. And we actually live that, but he is going to get the para. Not that it matters, because I'm just going to go for U-turn. I'm not even going to bullet punch, because um, I want to potentially catch a switch. He's going to get the plus two right there. We're going to go on to Feromosa, and we're going to go for the lunge. And uh, what's great about lunge is that it actually lowers your opponent's attack. So if something weak comes in on Feromosa trying to just knock it out, you actually lower their attack, and they potentially can't knock you out on the following turns. So that's really good. We are going to get the attack boost right there. We are up to 615 attack just from that. That's basically a moxie boost right there. That's that's amazing. That's so good. Uh, Tapu Lele, I don't know if it dies. This thing definitely doesn't. Like, let me show you guys real quick. Uh, what's this thing's name? Cortana? Cortana <laughs> from, uh, from Halo. Uh, Cortana has uh, 131 base uh, defense. It has very bad HP. And I could calc this in theory, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to sack off Pelipper here. I can get this lunge. Uh, actually, hold on. If I weaken this, Lunala is Ghost and Psychic, right? I think I might have to calc this. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's give it Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn. Let me actually just do this for you guys. Uh, so you can see. I'm not using the 1080p settings. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because I just recorded the uh, the Sun and Moon uh, giveaway winner video. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go do so. But we're going to do Ferrothorn with base 59 uh, HP. We're going to give it no investment in uh, defense or uh, special defense. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, or HP for that matter. We're just going to leave this at zero. Uh, we're going to go with a an adamant nature, for example. Uh, and we're going to make its base defense. What did we say it was? Uh, 131, which is exactly the same as Ferrothorn, actually. That's really funny. Um, and then we're going to go into, uh, let's say, Scizor. We're going to Mega Scizor. Uh, give it U turn base 80 at plus one. And I need to be at a certain amount of attack here. How much was I at originally? Uh, let's find out. 410, so I need to get to 410. A uh, little bit higher, so we can go Adamant. And we can lower this to the point where we're at 410. Where is it? 410, there we go. So U-turn would not kill. Definitely would not kill. So yeah, we need a little extra damage on this thing first. Uh, and, whoop, whoops. Wrong, uh... Wrong window there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Pelipper. And uh, he's going to go for the Smart Strike, which is actually still going to do a lot of damage. Wow. That's insane. We're mixed defensive as well. I'm just going to go for Hurricane here because it hits everything. And uh, I don't really mind if he switches because, again, Faramosa can just come in later. Start uh, sweeping up. I really... Uh, I can't kill Lunala. That's the problem. The problem is Lunala. He's going to go into Tapu Lele to uh, take the Hurricane, which is fine. Uh, this thing, I don't think, can knock me out, especially if it's leftovers. We're just going to go for Scald. Uh, as he goes for Substitute, I think Scald is a little bit stronger than Hurricane right now. Uh, because of the uh, because of the rain. I think he's Sub Calm Mind, more than likely. 
which is good, which is a good thing for us because if he goes for, um, if he keeps going for sub, actually, I don't think he's going to sub here. I think he's going to attack straight up. Yeah, I'm going to go for U-turn. He's probably not going to sub because I just went for Scald on his Tapu Lele, so. Um, this thing doesn't have great defense, so I think Lunge could potentially knock it out, especially after uh, U-turn. He actually goes for Psychic and knocks us out. Wow, okay. A little, a little impressed by that. Um, this thing is what? How much defense? We're gonna we're gonna keep calking, man. Uh, where's Tapu? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is Psychic Fairy 7075. So let's let's check that out. Uh, psychic Psychic Fairy. Uh, 70 and 75. So 70 and 75 defense base. Um, U turn. Not at plus one. 76, that's if he has no HP. If he does have HP, then it's doing 55 to 65. Okay. So, 55 to 65, so it's a roll. I think I have to go into Kingdra and fire off Hydro Pumps. I don't think I have a choice. Like, nothing on his team is taking it well anyway, so... Did he knock off my, uh, my Damp Rock? No, it was still there, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go for Hydro Pumps. Uh, if he wants to switch into uh, Kartana, that's fine. He's just giving me the chance to um, to boost up, basically. He actually goes into Lunala here, which I don't agree with, except I miss a Hydro Pump, so maybe I do agree with it. As he goes for a Calm Mind, uh-oh. All right, uh, Hydro Pump again. Let's see how much it does. Okay, yeah, no, this isn't working. Gonna go into Feramosa here. Does this thing get recovery? Because if it does, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Um, how fast is this? 322? It might not outspeed if it's, if it's fully bulky. Yeah, that did nothing. I, w I really wish that first one would have landed because it would have done like 35-ish percent. Which is insane to think about. That's a Specs Hydro Pump. He goes for another Calm Mind, which is good. Uh, we'll be able to go for the U-turn right here. I think he's forced to attack us at this point. Uh, as we're only able to do 21%. Wow. Wow. Lunala is... Wow. This thing is way too strong, guys. This thing is way too strong. This is this cannot be OU. This is not allowed to be OU. Look at this. Look at that. Moon Guys Beam. Yep. That's no, no. This thing is way too strong. <laughs> we uh we gotta use Lunala, man, because that thing is insane. Uh, we see Weavile. We see uh whatever this thing's called. Uh, what is this called? Have fun, you too, man. Man, there we go. All right, so uh, we got another uh, Kartana over here. Um, I'm liking Doug Trio this game for the Needle Queen, for the Salazzle, uh, even for revenging the Kartana when it's low. I think I'm just going to lead off here with uh, with Tornadus because we do have the Heat Wave. He leads off with uh, the Rock and Poison type, so this isn't the greatest for us. Uh, I think we're just going to go for a... This thing is quad weak to, to ground, really. That's so good. All right, we're gonna go out into um, into Scizor right here because Scizor uh, can take any move. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's Life Orb. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna go for a Roost. Uh, actually, I don't know if this thing gets any fire coverage. Okay. All right, we're gonna go for a Roost anyway because he's threatened by the Bullet Punch immediately. Needle Queen's gonna come out. That's awesome. Uh, this thing can have Flamethrower, but I doubt it because he has a Salazzle. So I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. Uh, he is gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Awesome. So we're able to uh, we're able to trap this and kill it with Dougie. Uh, we're gonna go for Earthquake right here. We don't need our Sash this game necessarily. Uh, he has leftovers. He's not Shed Shell, which is good. We're able to take out the Needle Queen. So all it did was get up Rocks. And uh, Feramosa is looking more and more threatening with every se passing second. High Jump Kick can actually sweep him completely. Uh, he's so weak to High Jump Kick. It's insane. We just need to kill Salazzle. Like Doug Trio plus Feram Feramosa is is disgusting. It's actually stupid. Uh, I'm gonna go into Scizor because it's my dedicated check to Weavile, of course. As he goes for the Icicle Crash, that's not gonna do much at all. We're gonna be able to get off a U-turn right here on whatever comes out. And uh, the only thing that I don't deal with well is Skarmory. We'll see how much this does. We'll see if he's Rocky Helmet, whatnot. He doesn't seem to be. Uh, we're gonna go into Torn right here, and we are going to go for the Heat Wave. Um, it's kind of obvious. People know what Torn does, so I don't expect him to stay in necessarily, but I mean, any potential damage on anything is good. We are going to get the Heat Wave off on uh, 
Neil Lego. It's uh, it's playing with its Legos. Uh, Power Gem is kind of obvious. I do have a Doug Trio. I'd still need this to deal with his Skarmory, though. That's the problem. Um, yeah. And this thing. Kartana is preventing me from sweeping with, Ki with Kingdra. That's the problem. Alright, we're gonna go for knockoff. We're gonna get rid of this thing's life orb. It's very free all on the physical side, apparently. Uh, Power Gem is actually not able to take us out, which is really nice. And, uh, what I'm actually gonna do is switch out directly into... I'm gonna go Duck Trio here. I'm gonna keep Tornadus alive just for the Skarmory. As, let's see what he does. He does go for the Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power that was, but it wasn't able to take us out, which is very nice. We're just gonna go for the Earthquake right here. This thing, of course, is trapped. And Doug Trio getting another kill. Crazy. Yo, I can't wait to draft this thing again. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Skarmory might come in here. That's definitely a possibility. Um, my opponent probably doesn't register the fact that I could have Rapid Spin, even though I don't. But, uh... Kingdra's looking more and more threatening, because I don't think Kartana gets in any kind of recovery, so we should be good to go. Plus, its special defense is really not all that. It's actually going to come in here, okay. Interesting. I still want to keep Doug Trio because it does so well. Um, I like Pheromosis sweeping here. It can definitely sweep it up. So, do we just go into Pelipper? I can go into Scizor. Scizor, like, pretty much hard walls this. Realistically. Yeah, let's go into Scizor. Scizor's fine. Let's see what he wants to do. He goes for the uh, Smart uh, smart Strike. Yeah, I, I keep wanting him to call it uh, Smart Steel Strike, but that's not its name. Um, I'm gonna go for the Roost here, as he goes for another Smart Strike. I think he might be Scarfed. Definitely a possibility. Of course, Pheromosa still outspeeds that. We'll go for the U-Turn here, because he's not gonna want to stay in. Salazzle comes in. Beautiful. As we are able to get off the U-turn, and Doug Trio picks up yet another kill. <laughs> another quad weakness to ground. Beautiful. We see leftovers as well, so we know he's not outspeeding us. That's a dead Salazzle. Yo, U-turn into Doug Trio is disgusting. It's so good. I can I cannot stress it enough, guys. It's just so, 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 so good. Um Is he really gonna go for another ice move? Like I have no need for this anymore. Honestly, guys, I'm just gonna go for stealth rocks. He's gonna go for knockoff, that's fine. Uh, Scizor can come back in if it wants to. Nothing threatens Scizor anymore. Realistically. Yeah, we can just go Sizz. And we'll click, um... We'll click Swords Dance. Because I want to see what the, uh... What the Cortana is going to go for. I keep calling it Cortana from Halo. That's not its name. Uh, he is going to go Cortana. Does this thing get any coverage for me? Hold on a second. Let's, let's just, let's just see something real quick. Add Pokemon. Uh, whoops, wrong tier. Gotta go here. That's this is the only way you can add them if you is if you uh, set it to that to this tier. Uh, Cartana, where are you? This tier is huge right now. Uh, Cartana, what do you get in terms of fire coverage? You get Hidden Power, Fire, and that's it. Yeah, that's literally all you get. I'm not scared of you at all. I'm just gonna go for Roost, Sacred Sword. Yeah, that's that's doing nothing. Look at that damage. Oh my God, we're gonna Sword Dance again. Yo, <laughs> I'm just, I'm setting up for the, for the sweep with Scizor. That's going to be GG. Scizor might make thumbnail, we'll see. I still have yet to show off Pheromosa and what it can actually do. Like, it's really, really good, guys. You don't believe me right now, but it's really good. And, like, everybody's running checks for it, as you can see. Like, Cartana's a really good check because of its bulk uh, on the physical side. It takes anything. Um, I know CBB was running a, a special uh, with Bug Buzz, special Pheromosa, so... Trying to get a hang of this meta, same man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he left, and uh, that's gonna be another win. What are we at? Twenty-four minutes. Yeah, let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. We uh, we like these. I'm really enjoying this right now. This is awesome. As uh, okay, we got a lowland executor. There it is. <laughs> Finally, I can't wait to see when this thing sprite actually like moves. It's gonna be insane. But uh, my opponent is looking extremely pheromosa weak. Like. Crazy Pheromosa week. Uh, I forget what uh, type um, the lay is. Uh, what typing is it? Uh, let's see. Comfe. What are you? You're a pure fairy. Okay. We're going to lead with Pheromosa anyway. Uh, and he leads with Comfe. Okay. We could go for Poison Jab. What's this thing's defense? It's not that great. I can knock this thing out straight away. Yeah, let's go for Jab. 
He should know we have this. Let's see what his initial response is. I would go top of it. Uh, no, not even. He doesn't have a good switch into poison jab. <laughs> like, we're coming off of this attack, 410? That's very, very threatening. And I think this kills even if he, uh, okay, well, he just leaves. Uh, we're gonna turn on battle timer. Let's get another one. Sorry about that, guys. People are just leaving games. I guess he didn't like his matchup against this thing. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Like, th this destroys him. Dougie is... I think that trio is, is my new favorite Pokemon. Okay, he's using Eevee. He's using that menace. I haven't actually tried out Z-moves yet. That's another thing that I have to try. And our opponent just joined back. So we're playing two games at once. Let's do this. Let's get it. All right. Uh, I like Scizor as a lead here. It doesn't lose to anything but Salazzle. As he leads off with Greninja. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go for U-turn. As he goes for the Hydro Pump, that is not going to do too much. It's going to do 53%, which is still a good amount, of course, but going to get off a huge hit right there. We're going to go out into Feromosa, and this is a free U-turn for me, and he will die. Uh, he's going to go out into Age of Slash. This is a good play, uh, but of course, we have the uh, Age of Slash answer right here in Doug Trio. Uh, I want to get up my rocks, and we're going to go back to this game. Uh, Comfey didn't die, actually, which is a little bit annoying, but it is in range of uh, potentially Lunge now. Charizard does come in. A little bit of a threat, but I'm not too worried. We do have Torn. I'm going to go into that directly. Coming back to this game. Uh, Salamence is going to come in on Dugtrio as we are able to get up rocks. Actually, oh, right, yeah, yeah well, you can't trap ghost types. What am I talking about? Um, this thing is a little bit of a threat, too. I'm going to go into Pelipper on this uh, just to get up my rain for a Kingdra as he is going to Mega Evolve and go for the Dragon Dance. Uh, Kingdra is still faster right now. So... What do I want to do to this? Uh, let's try to get the Scald Burn. He's going to go for Return. That's going to straight knock us out. Uh, that actually ends up working in my favor because now I can go into Kingdra. Ice Beam hits literally everything except for um, Aegislash Slash for good damage. So we're going to go for that. If he goes out into Zern, at least we'll hit it. Uh, now coming back to this game, we do bring in Torn on his Charizard Y, which is perfect. As uh, he goes for Flamethrower. That did way too much. Are we not Assault Fist? What the heck? <laughs> Why did that do so much? I'm supposed to take that way better. All right, well, now we can go into Pelipper. On his next Flamethrower, we'll be able to take this no problem. That only does 16%, as you can see. And we'll be able to go for a U-turn right here. He cannot touch us. This is a free U-turn on anything on his team. He does have, I think, three U-turn weeks or two because this thing's part fairy. Yeah, two U-turn two weeks. We are able to knock out the Salamence. Beautiful. That thing was a huge threat. Age of Slash is back. It's back in town. Um, I gotta go Torn, I think. Because this thing is normally run special, so... He's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. That is easily gonna be able to be eaten up by Tornadus. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Hurricane turn one, as he probably King Shields here. Yep, there it is. And then we'll go for the knockoff. On the following turn, get rid of his leftovers. Beautiful. He's going to stance, change back. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball. It's going to do a good amount. Uh, we're going to go for a Hurricane as he goes back into uh, King Shield mode. And I kind of want to switch out into Kingdra here on the next Shadow Ball because we'll still get off a big hit on anything on his team. We're going to go back to this game for a second as uh, Tapu Lele does come out on the U-turn. Very nice play. Uh, what we can do is go into Scizor. Scizor takes any hit from this pretty well. Uh, unless it's Specs, then it's doing quite a bit. But I'm going to go for the Mega Evolve and U-Turn. Torn over here, not looking too good. Uh, I think I still... No, I don't need this anymore. I can go for Hurricane. It's not going to do too much, but we had the chance to confuse and whatnot. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball. That's absolutely fine. We're going to go on into Kingdra. He's probably just going to King Shield to see what we lock ourselves into. Uh, I'm not clicking anything but Scald. He should King Shield in theory. Yeah, there it is. As long as we have Scizor in the back with uh, Bullet Punch and Feromosa with Poison Jab, we will not lose to Xerneas, so I'm not concerned. I'm just going to go for another Scald. That's going to lower him down to 3%. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball. That's fine. We'll go for another Scald. He doesn't seem to have any kind of priority. Uh, never mind. Yeah, Shadow Sneak. All right. I'm surprised he didn't go for it earlier on, uh, on Torn. Um, Greninja is going to come out here. Um... But I do have Feromosa. I can win with Lunge now, can I? No, he's got a uh, he's got Zern. Can I win with Poison Jab? No. Hmm. A little bit of predicament. Do I want to keep this? Is the question. I don't really want to keep this. He's gonna go for Ice Beam. That's fine. He's gonna take a Life Orb hit right there. Uh, he's probably max speed. We're just gonna go out into Feromosa, and I think what we're gonna do is actually just go for a. 
Um, do we just go for lunge? And pray? <laughs> or do we go for poison jab? And force him into Salazzle, sack Scizor, bring in Dugtrio, go for the Earthquake, poison jab on the Eevee, and then win by spamming poison jab? I think that's the play. Yeah, we go for jab here. We force him into Salazzle. You, you guys are going to see my play. We'll go back here for a second. On the U-turn, he brings in Charizard. We're going to go right back out into Pelipper. Pelipper's just so good. Oh my god. I can just keep going for U-turn. Like, I, I, I don't care what comes out. As uh, Salazzle is going to come in here, of course. Uh, baited. We're going to go into Scizor. And uh, he's going to go for a flamethrower. That's fine. It's going to knock us out. We're going to go into Dugtrio now. We are going to get our Earthquake kill. And being as we are... Um, he goes into Eevee. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go for an Earthquake. He's going to go for a Z-move, probably. There's Extreme Evo boost. And uh, we're going to go for a Reversal on this. Uh, he's actually going to... Oh, God. Oh, no. Baton Pass. I didn't even think about that. Luckily, my opponent makes a misplay. Um, actually, we might not be faster than this if it's max speed. But he's probably not, right? I'm going to go for Poison Jab. Yep. And that doesn't kill. All right. Yeah, he had plus defense. So that's going to be a loss right there. Let's focus back on this battle for a second. So we do get off the U-turn right there. Uh, that's not going to do much at all. But uh, it does allow me to go into... Do I want to just trap this with Dugtrio? Dugtrio is doing absolutely nothing this game. So I might as well just trap this and knock it out. And then get up rocks. I think that's going to be my most important thing to do here. Is trap this. And uh, then, yeah. Just get it. getting up Stealth Rocks is so crucial here. For that Charizard so that it can't keep coming in on my U-turns. Because that's this team. This team in a nutshell is just U-turn. U-turn with everything. Surprising enough, uh, Tornadus doesn't have U-turn. But he is going to go Executor. Uh, I am going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Executor should die to a U-turn from Feramosa. He's actually going to go for Sub. Okay. I'm going to go for Stone Edge. Try to break the Sub. It should be able to with uh, with 100 base, HP, uh, 100 base attack. That shouldn't be a problem. Yep. There it is. So he goes for Giga Drain, that's fine. We'll just go for another edge right here. Who wants the sub? That's cool. I don't care. Like, I have the turn turn core. That's that's all I need, is just you turning infinitely. It's doing exactly 26%. Wow. Okay. So that was a close call, I guess. We are in the range, so I am going to go into uh, Tornadus, because nothing really wants to take a Hurricane. Uh, like, literally nothing on his team. Everything dies <laughs> at this point, because rocks are up. And Executor goes straight down. Awesome. The thing is, if he goes into Charizard, Pelipper is such a good switch into Charizard every single time. It's insane. I said insane a lot this live, guys, but uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Um, I'm so hyped. This is so cool, dude. Just starting a brand new meta. This is the first time that, I, that I've ever had a chance to do this on Showdown because I started... Uh, actually, we'll, we'll leave that... Um, we'll leave that for the Q&A because I haven't done that yet. Somebody asked that question, when did I start... But, uh, yes, this is basically the first time that I've ever gotten to do this on Showdown with brand new mons. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys maybe even later today. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But, yeah. Ciao. <laughs>